Hello, Turner here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking with you about the classic bushcraft style buck saw and sort of my minor tweak to the Kelly Harleton's uh, Kelly Harleton's version from Karamat Wilderness Ways. So, um, as I'm sure you may have seen in other videos, uh, you know, what, what we're trying to do when we're creating these, uh, this buck saw is that we have, we are trying to make sort of this H of wood, um, and then we, we pull these two top to put the blade into tension. Now, um, the way that I prefer to set this up, some people, they'll make a proper mortise and tenant joint here uh, to insert the cross beams. Uh, the way that I prefer is if you make a, groove, uh, a V about, about 90 degrees and then uh, a male V about 90 degrees as well to put these two together. The advantage of this, right, is that if we were to, we can uh, pre-make these cross beams at home using, and make them all fancy and comfortable to hold, and and allow them to fold in nicely, and we don't necessarily have to bring this this cross piece because it's very very easy to fashion that out in the field. Now. Um, the autonomy of these cross pieces, of course, is that we have this uh, V section here, and this can be as long as, as really you want. We need uh, two cutouts for strings, and we'll get into that later. Then at the bottom here, we've cut a slit for our saw to go in, and we have this little notch to hold the screw. So... I'll start setting this up as uh, this is certainly not unique to me, uh, what we have so far, right? We have this very simple, simple setup. Um, the Car Kelly Harleton version, right? We're taking two, uh, two things of paracord with the inners pulled out of them and we're making an X. Pull that up. Pull it in. Right, and I'm just I'm just using regular bolts to uh, as sort of placeholders for the saw. Then we take two paddles and we wind each one of these up. Now, we are not including the inners, inner strands of the paracord as that makes the paracord uh, very elastic, which if, if it were to break, now you have um, sort of a more dangerous thing. Not to mention we're looking for rigidity in our saw, so rigidity is going to be easier if there's less elasticity. So, uh, in the in the previous version, right, we just we wind these two guys up um, under better tension than this, uh, but you end up getting this. Uh, you'll end up getting this saw that's that has good rigidity, 
make sure that they're all lined up. I like to mark out where my cross piece lines up so that everything is nice and straight. Um, and you get this very nice rigid saw. Now, um, I was looking at this and I, I got to wondering, you know, we, we have to have these cross pieces, well, these, these running diagonal in this X because you need, uh, you need triangles built into your saw to allow for rigidity. However, um, you don't necessarily need it to be at the angle that these are, guys are going in. So, if instead of having these two paddles, we just use a single paddle and we run it through the inside of both of these, and now we go and we tighten it up. Right, we're now, we're now twisting these guys together. And as we twist, right, although the net, the net force is still going to be in line with this, um, the force that's being acted on the frame is in line with these guys. So it's still making uh, sort of triangles with the force vectors. Um, However, uh, that angle is going to change, and I find that it's much, much easier to bring this under high tension than the other way. Um, and it also winds up much, much faster as you are using both strands together to create that tension. So we just keep winding this up. Ooh. Darn. Well, there you go. The tension is so great that we broke, we split our cross piece. So we'll try our secondary cross piece here. See if this works or if we have to restart the video. Oops. Right. It's important to have these these slots to be very deep because um, you're not getting sort of a perpendicular force applied to them. And as we can see with this split cross piece, um, we are producing quite a uh, quite the tension in the system. Right. So this produces a very, very rigid system. And having only one cross beam, I find it's much easier, uh, just easier to handle. 
you can tension it up much, much faster. Um, and you, well, and I find that it's easier to get it at a higher tension and we still have that same structural, um, same structural integrity as to the design. Albeit, maybe you should be using a better wood than this poplar I had just lying around, but uh, there you go. Until next time.